Munch, is it? Me too. January. January. Let's clap out the syllables. January. What day of the week is it today? Thursday. Thursday. What do you think is going to be on today's calendar piece? Think about it. Everyone's thinking about it. Liam has it in his head. Following the pattern. So, Kev, what do you think is going to be on today's calendar piece? Um, the ball is going to be on the other side. Which side? Like this side. This side? On the left? Anybody else have an idea? No, right. Noah? In, um, the front. In front. All what right. If Noah is correct, give him an oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right. Let's say our pattern. A. Yesterday? Peyton. Wednesday. Good. If today is Thursday, what day was it? Is it going to be tomorrow? Brady. Um Friday. Good. Well, how many days of school is it today? Look at our calendar. Look at our, our chart. How many days of school is it today? Software? 92. 92. Can you believe it? 92. Is 92 odd or even? Clint? Even. How do you know? Because the two is even. The two in the ones place makes the whole number even. All right. We're going to search for that 92. Remember, it could be sideways. could be upside down. Whisper and tell me to stop. Paige, can you place that up there and circle it in my red marker because it is even. And say, Kat, should we count to 92 by two or by fives or by tens today? It's a hard choice, I know. I'm giving you five seconds. Okay. Five. Good. All right. Take one hand. Doesn't matter which one. Wake it up. Put it on your knee. This time, I'm going to switch knees as I count. Ready, sync up? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, stop! 91, 92. Great job. Stop talking, please. Matri? 12 minus 5 yeah. equals 7. Great job today. All right, let's do 7 plus 5 equals something. Gracie, start us off. I have 12 oh. Seven plus 5. 
seven plus five. Seven. Mm -hmm. know that it's plus five. I got five more of that. Okay. How many do I have? Good. Before you tell me the answer, what two words tells our reader that it's plus? There's two hiding words in there that tell us that it's plus. What are they? Okay. More and then. More, well, not them. More is correct. So I'm getting more of something. Gargi? because I'm getting something extra. I'm adding something to my, my original number. What's my answer? Plus the label. Sam, I got seven, to five, seven toys. I got five more of them. How many do I have now? Twenty. Seven plus five. Twelve. Good. Twelve what? Toys. Good. All right. Does anybody remember what time our clock said? I look at the hour hand first. This is the hour hand. Where is it pointing? Brayden? Six o'clock. Six o'clock. What number does my hour <coughs> hand need to point to to show seven o'clock? It's a trick question. Not really. Mira? To the seven. To the seven. Good. To show seven o'clock. Ready to repeat? I'm going to show seven o'clock by putting seven in the hour spot. Ready to repeat? 12 o'clock? 12 o'clock. 1 o'clock? 1 o'clock. 2 o'clock. 3 o'clock? 3 o'clock. 4 o'clock? 4 o'clock. 5 o'clock? 5 o'clock. 6 o'clock? 6 o'clock. 7 o'clock? 7 o'clock. Great. Number 12? Are we on number 12? Yeah. Check the weather. 12. Check the weather. Partly cloudy. Is there, are there, is there any sun? No. Oh, so what's it going to be? Cloudy, I think so. I wish it was partly cloudy, but it's actually probably cloudy today. All right. Ooh. How many more days did we have partly cloudy than cloudy? We had four partly cloudy days, two cloudy days. How many more were partly cloudy? Holly? Two. Two more. They each had two, but then partly cloudy had two more. One more question. How many rainy days did we have? Looking at our graph, how many rainy days did we have? Josh, why don't you answer this one for me? How many rainy days? Um, one. One. How do you know? Because there was one rainy. There's only one rainy symbol in that rainy row. So it tells me that there was one rainy day. All right, last thing we need to do is add a penny. <coughs> Can I swap? No. no. No, can't swap yet. How much money do we have, though? Sit up. Mira? 12 cents. 12 cents. Mira, are you sure we don't have three cents? No. How are you sure? Okay, it's a dime, and it's worth how much? Ten cents. So I have 10, 11, 12. Do that with me. 10, 11, 12. Help me write it the fancy way with the dollar sign. Salvatore? Zero, decimal point, one, mm -hmm. two. Good. I like how he thought about it. Did you? Could you almost feel him thinking? I could feel him thinking here. How come he put the one next to the decimal point? Why did he put a one there and not a zero? Hmm. Somebody I haven't heard from in a bit. Peyton. There's, there's like a, there's twelve mm -hmm. and twelve and it has zero and two. Right. There's no zero in the ones place. What's another reason? 
for you? Um, over there, like at the top, mm -hmm. that coin is worth 10 cents, mm -hmm. and we have a dollar on a dollar with the one, mm -hmm. and there's <coughs> two pennies, so 10 plus 2 equals 12. Good. So this, I have one 10. And how many extra ones? What about that decimal Two point? Two extra ones. Why do we have to have a decimal point? Brayden? Because it guides the dollars and um, the It guides the dollars and the cents. Stop. It separates the dollars from the cents. I put my dollars on one side and my coins, my cents on the other side. Wonderful job. All right. It is time for us to take big deal. So, what I'd like you to do, reach in your pocket, find your mathematician hat, helmet, <laughs> polish it off. Okay? Untie the string. Put it on your head. Really tight. Make sure it's real tight. Tie the string around your neck. Turn it on. Are you ready to work? Yes. Okay. Table captains, tiptoe to get offices.